Exactly the right thing. I agree. This is the first time that Dad's ever gone on a trip and left Mom alone for a few nights. I'm glad we invited her to sleep over. Oh, I love your mother. So do I. I have a lot of fun when she's around. <laughs> so do I. But I think it'll be a disaster. So do I. And my, while you're away, the girls insisted that I sleep over. Right. Oh, Philip and Wally said they wanted me to stay too. Well, I had a lot of things planned to do around here in the evenings, but when they beg and plead like that, how can I say no? She could have said no, <laughs> but she didn't. Mothers in law by tradition cause problems. Oh, Philip, that's so old fashioned. Mom's not a mother in law, she's mom. Well, maybe so, but we've never had a house guest before, and well, we're just learning to live together. I'll bet five bucks it's going to be a mess. <laughs> on mom. Everything's going to be fine. I think Wally's right for a change. I'll bet five dollars too. You're on. <laughs> now I've always suspected Christina was a clown but on our Christina was a clown but on our dinner, an immaculate house. Mom will be so impressed, she'll probably vote us Kids of the Year. <laughs> probably will. <laughs> How's Operation Spotless coming? I'll have all this stuff organized in no time. Uh, clean as a whistle. <laughs> Let's see. Across the red wire with the yellow wire, You'll get an orange wire. <laughs> Wally, listen. Mom will really... <laughs> Mom will really be impressed with this. Every appliance in the house will be set up on an automatic timer. And in case of an emergency, I rigged it to alert the police department, the fire department, and the hospital. You left out chicken delight. <laughs> you know, Philip, I've already finished my work. You can't rush a scientist. <laughs> Tossed green salad? Yummy. Veal, just right. Green bean casserole, scrumptious. Spaghetti, oh no! Oh, Marcia, you had only one job, spaghetti. I know, but it keeps coming out. I can't stop it. Turn the little knob. Oh no, it's Mom. Uh, you clear off the counters and I'll check on the guys. Philip? Already. Molly? Already. Marsha? Already. Hi. Mom, are you here already? <laughs> Hi, Hi Mom. Hello. How are you? Oh, uh, I am really impressed. The dinner was delicious and the house is spotless. Uh, thank you. It was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> to be perfectly honest, Jan helped with the dinner. Oh, Jan's always been helpful. <laughs> I'll never forget the time she felt sorry for Marsha's goldfish because she thought they were tired out from swimming all day long. <laughs> she was so sad because they were wet and cold. 
clothes. <laughs> Never mind, Mom. <laughs> it was so funny. Jan dried them off with a towel and put them on her pillow to sleep with her in a warm, dry bed. <laughs> Jan, how could you do that? I was just a kid. Oh. No excuses. All right, you tell everybody about last night's dinner. Well, it wasn't my fault. No excuses. <laughs> Nowhere on a TV dinner does it say to take it out of the box before you put it in the oven. Well, anyway, Marsha's best cooking is never done uh, in the kitchen. <laughs> Wally, my mother's watching. <laughs> She'll just have to wait her turn. Well, does anybody want anything else? Oh, oh no. no. I think you want As for me, I think I will have an after-dinner banana. <laughs> oh, really? The dinner was just great. I mean, the salad was yummy, the veal was just right, and the casserole was scrumptious. And? <laughs> and? <laughs> And the spaghetti, the spaghetti was mm, aromatic and, and mm, flavorful and, 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 and solid. Well, uh, you did the dinner and now I'll do the dishes. Oh, oh. Mom, 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 no, don't, don't, don't bother, Mom. You can do them in the morning. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to go to sleep. Big day tomorrow. I'll get the cot. Oh, I just love sleeping on cots. It'd be fun, just like camping out. Oh, no. Mom, the cot's not for you. Oh, no, I refuse to separate newlyweds. But the cot's so uncomfortable. Oh, that's okay. Philip will love it. <laughs> if Philip can find it. <laughs> Besides, Mom, you're our guest. Not to mention our mother. <laughs> oh, Philip, I feel terrible. Oh, now what's a son-in-law for? But come on. No let's... buts. I insist. Now you sleep in our room. Ah, oh, thanks, Philip. Good night. Well, come on there, roomie. <laughs> Good night, Mom. Good night, Good night Dan. Good night, everybody. Philip, thank you. Mom, I want to tell Philip something. Would you give me a minute? Oh, sure. Take all the time you want. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> It's our first night apart since the wedding. Oh, that's okay. I got plenty of company. Yeah, but did you ever try to snuggle up to a goldfish? No, but you did. I told you, I was just a kid then. Mm, that's all right. I guess I'll kiss you goodnight anyway. Well, that's all right, guys. We're married. <laughs> Wally. Yeah. With Mom here, will you put on your pajamas? You know I don't have any. How about your jeans? It's too hot for jeans. Wally. <laughs> Is it getting warm in here all of a sudden? <laughs> or is it getting cold in here all of a sudden? Okay. What are you thinking about? Jan and Philip. It must be hard on them spending the night so far apart. Philip is only in the living room, not Siberia. <laughs> but I just think that you could have volunteered for the cot when Philip offered to take it. And leave you in here all by yourself? I could have never done that to you. Yeah, but you'd be in the living room, not Siberia. Let me put it this way. No. You don't want me to pout, do you? I can pout for weeks at a time. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> We're both fine. Oh. <laughs> well, I'd uh, ask what happened, but I'm not sure I want to know. <laughs> oh, oh, believe me, uh, we... Uh, well, I, uh, uh, well, it's definitely not what you think. Uh. Too bad. <laughs> well, it won't happen.
happen again because Wally has agreed to sleep on the cot. I have? I guess I have. Yes, sir, there's nothing more I want to do in this world than to sleep out here. Just me and, and, and the cot and 32 guppies. <laughs> Wally, honey, what happened? Oh, dear. I had a nightmare. Moby Dick grabbed one of my legs and Jaws grabbed the other and said, make a wish. Okay, that's it. I'm taking the cot and I don't want to hear any arguments. Oh, no, Mom, we won't let you. Why can't I take the cot? It's my cot. It's my cot, too, and I'm sleeping on it. That's fine. She does have a point. But if Jan sleeps on the cot and Mom sleeps with Marsha, well, that means... Hi, Rumi. <laughs> Jan? <laughs> Just wanted to kiss you goodnight. Oh, well, you already kissed me goodnight. Well, I can't get too much of a good thing. <laughs> What a kiss. I hear bells. Well, I'd like to take credit, but it's the door. At this hour? Yeah. Coming, coming. Good evening. Hello. Uh -huh. uh, I found this kid in front of your house here, and uh, he says he belongs to you. Harry, are you all right? Uh-huh. Come on. Thank you. My mother had to work late, and I got lonely, so I left her note and came over here, okay? Oh, sure. <laughs> it's all right, officer. We're sort of his home away from home. Uh -huh. Well, is this cot for the kid? Oh, oh uh, I can explain, officer. You see, uh, this cot is here because my mother-in-law is sleeping over. Oh, are you his mother-in-law? No, I'm his wife. Hot! Don't tell me you were his mother-in-law. <laughs> no, she's sleeping in there. I'm sleeping in there with Philip. <laughs> While his wife sleeps on the cot. <laughs> Well, that's only because my wife is sleeping with my mother-in-law. <laughs> Both of your mother-in-law are sleeping with your wife. No, we only have one mother-in-law. But you got two wives. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, I'm his wife. And I'm their mother-in-law, and I should be sleeping on the cot. Well, that would make you his wife. You see, it's all a matter of deciding who sleeps with who. Whom? Who sleeps with whom? That's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> it's very simple, officer. You see, right now, it's my turn to sleep with Wally. <laughs> oh. <laughs> folks, folks, I'm sure there is a simple explanation for this, but... Oh, boy, it's probably too complicated. <laughs> officer, trust me. I can vouch for these people. <laughs> Why not? He's the only one that makes sense around here anyway. Thank you, officer. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Drive carefully. Well, I am glad to be here. Where do I sleep? We don't even know where we sleep. <laughs> I told you this night would be a disaster. You know the five dollars we bet him? We should have made it ten. <laughs> Saturday, an unfaithful husband and a jealous... husband and a jealous drive all over the place wasting gas or find one in the newspaper yeah all right i don't have time to waste looking for a new car and then i remember tci channel 18 harry i told you before i don't like you out on the streets at night i'm not i'm in your living room <laughs> and in two minutes you're going to be in the bedroom now, that's not very practical. Where is he going to sleep? Right between you and Wally. A hairy sandwich! <laughs> Harry, huh? you're breathing on my neck. Well, I can't stop breathing. <sighs> Now you're breathing on my neck. Well, who's that guy supposed to breathe on? 
Try sleeping on your stomach. Wall. Hmm? Sing to me. I can't sleep. Sing to you? Just one song. My mother always sings to me. Oh, Harriet, I'm too tired to sing. Okay. But I'll be up all night. Breathing on your neck. And on your neck. All right, I'll sing. Oh, good. <laughs> Moon River, wider than a mile. I'm crossing your side someday. Old dream maker, you heartbreaker. Wherever you're going, I'm going your way. To drifters off to see the world. There's such a lot of world to see. We're after the same rainbows and waiting round the bend. My huckleberry friend River and me That was wonderful, honey. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Look, I put him to sleep. You often have that effect on people. <laughs> well, let's us get some sleep. a huckleberry friend. I can't sleep. Go ahead. Keep making bubbles. See if I care. Go ahead. Keep staring at me. You think it bothers me? Yes, you're right. It bothers me. Blink. Please, just once. Blink. Well, Sam's at an all-night bowling tournament, and I heard a noise outside my house, and I went out to check it out, and the wind blew the door shut and locked me out. Oh, well, you might as well spend the night here, Alice. Everyone else is. <laughs> hey, we can watch TV. Is it too early for the late show or too late for the early show? No, I think it'll make too much noise. We can play a game. Oh, that's a great idea. You get the game, and I'll get us some more light. <laughs> Remember me? The alarm went off down at the station, and just my luck, I was in the neighborhood. Oh, uh, well, I didn't explain everything, officer. You see, uh, we were just having a Scrabble tournament. <laughs> oh, well, that clears that up. Oscar, I was working on this remote control device, and the wires must have gotten crossed. Oh, then there's no problem. No. No, none at all. Yeah. Thank you for coming by. Oh, well, just doing my job. But you people ought to try to get some sleep. <laughs> Walk out of my house. Would you take me home? I don't belong here. Well, lady, nobody does. Good night, everyone. Good night, Alice. Good night, officer. So Bye. Getting back to trouble. Oh, help! Help me! All right, lady, where's the fire? remote control device and gentlemen, I... gentlemen, I think if we leave quietly, we'd all be better off. Don't <laughs> <laughs> say so, Ralph. All right, Drew, let's move it out. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Nice act. Good night. 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 Good
enough excitement for one night. What do you say we all try to get some sleep? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, boy. Night. Night. Well, hey, fellas. Shall we try to get some sleep? <sighs> Just in time. You did a feat. Wait, wait, wait! She must be in shock. Oh, no. Hey, what are you doing? Wait. It's okay, we're paramedics. Oh, no. There goes my mother in law. There goes my car. There goes our ten dollars. <laughs> It's a bimage. It's kind of like a huckleberry friend. Tonight at 8, Steve McGarrett's friend is DOA, and his mysterious demise is no accident. Jack Lord stars in Hawaii 5-0 tonight at 8 on the Family Channel.